Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. Let's jump right into our video and see what we can create. So I'm going to be working on this stainless steel uh, coffee cup and I've already prepped it by sanding it and cleaning it with Dawn dish liquid and putting a coat of flat white spray paint on it and I am doing a little bit different with the tacket method. I'm putting the tacket directly onto the cup and then um, spreading it around and then I'm taking a brush dipped in water just to get a smooth surface for my glitter and this is a little bit long video but if you want to wait till the end and see the 3d um, pieces that I add to it um, I think it'd be worth it I think you'll really like it and um, it turned out really really cute so I'm going to start with my glitter now and I am using the Spinet Mermaid Very Fine Glitter. And I'm also using the Shattered Opal from Shiny Obsessions. Um, I want to carefully put the glitter on because I want to use the Shattered Opal uh, in a circle. Um, on each side of the cup. So I'm starting out with putting just a little bit of the mermaid fine glitter on the bottom and then I'm going to change out my catch paper and then use the shattered opal and carefully spoon it on there and then just move it around until I get a um, kind of a circular pattern right here in the center of the cup. I'm going to do it on both sides and um, once I get all this on here I'm going to allow it to set and for a little while and then I'm going to spray some clear matte uh, sealer on it. This is the decal that I want to put here in the um, circular area where the chunky is. It's a little mermaid in a teacup. I think she's so cute. But um, once I have the clear matte sealer on there, then I'm going to come back and I'm going to add more of the mermaid blue, but I'm not going to put any more of the um, shattered opal on there. I want to make the um, mermaid blue thicker and make it kind of look like it that the shattered opal is inset and that the um, the mermaid blue is uh, deeper and give it kind of some depth where the mermaid is going to go. On the other side where I put the shattered opal I am going to um, use some vinyl and, and uh, cut out a little quote and put it on that side. So I'm just sprinkling the glitter onto the tacket and then gently pressing it into the tacket to make sure that it stays as much as it will on this first layer. And then the second layer will really uh, cover up any place where um, you can still see the white base coat. And I really love this turner that I'm using. Um, this is the only one that I have that is actually uh, tall enough to do the cups with the handles on them. And uh, the only problem I have with it is that it does not the shaft does not lock onto the turner itself, so whenever I'm working on it, I have to um, sometimes hold it in place so I don't pull it off. Um, I haven't had a cup 
fall off of it yet. So, and um, this is the very first turner I bought. So, here it is. I have the next layer of the um, mermaid blue on there. And I am going to put a first coat of my resin on. And I'm using uh, Fro Rizzle, which is a one to one ratio. And I did uh, 20 mils on this first layer, which I probably could have got away with 15, but I wanted to make sure because the um, glitter was so thick that um, it did a good coat. And then once I let this turn for about six hours, I came back and did um, a second layer and let that turn and then did a third layer which I did not video because it's just simply me wiping uh, resin onto the cup. Making sure that I get it all up underneath the handle, around the rim of the cup, and on the base of the cup. This ensured that I did, I had very little sanding to do on this. Um, just basically around the rim where uh, it, the glitter had pushed over the edge. And uh, that was about all the heavy sanding I had to do. I did do a light sanding between um, the fourth layer. And my camera cut off and I did not realize it when I was putting the um, lettering and the Little Mermaid onto the cup but it just used transfer paper and just transferred it on there the mermaid was a water slide so I just used the water and and uh, placed her on there and now I'm top coating with a, another layer of uh, fro rizzle to make sure that my uh, vinyl and my water slide is covered and then I will do another layer also to um, make sure that everything is covered. It's looking really good. Like I said, I have very little sanding that I had to do. And I let this turn overnight giving it a little bit of heat to make sure that my resin is um, leveling out and no bubbles and here it is so cute and this is the part that I'm going to add the 3d acrylic uh, designs um, I have these little acrylic bubble looking pieces they're in um, like a little set of three attached to each other, but I broke some of them apart. And um, they kind of have a, a little shimmer to them. So I'm going to put a small, one of the small ones right here. Her hand is, she's holding her hand out like she's blowing bubbles off of it. And so I'm going to put one of them on there. And I uh, have a little bit of resin that was left over from a cup that I just put on the turner and um, it's towards the end of its working time so it's getting thick which is perfect for this because I don't want it to be runny and in, in, uh, sliding out from underneath the um, underside of the little bubble that I'm using so I'm using a um, silicone brush and I'm just spreading the thickened resin around, making sure that I get it all the way out to the edges so that it has a good seal on it. Um, I don't want uh, water to get underneath it when the outside of the cup is washed. And it's perfect. Staying right there, it's not moving. So I'm going to use a set of the three bubbles kind of over here to the other side like they're floating up. I think 
think about right there to look good. These would be a little bit trickier. I might should have broken them apart and then put them on there one by one. But what I did was um, just put a little bit of extra since it's on the curve of the cup. I put a little bit extra resin in there to make sure that the seal went all the way out to the edges of the little bubbles. And then put a little extra in the center so that when I press down on it, it would press out and then form a seal. These little silicone brushes is great for stuff like this. And working with a thicker, thickened resin really helps as well. Okay, so we got it on the back side of the little bubbles and we will put it, sorry for my arm, put it right here. And it will stay right there. Press it down a little bit to make sure that all the resin underneath it comes and seals around the edges. Then I want to put these two down here towards the bottom. I'm going to put the bigger one probably about right here. Like a bubble has floated down. And then um, I'll probably put the smaller one on the uh, blue. But it had a little square lip where I had broken it away from the bigger one. So I'm holding it in my pliers with the square edge out. And I'm just using this sanding block that I use for stained glass. And uh, turn it a little bit until I get kind of a rounded off edge. And it don't take a whole lot. And then I'm ready to put it on to the cup as well. So let's put a little bit of resin on this bigger one first. And get it over here underneath the camera so that you can see it better. There. And I'm just pushing the resin out to all the edges, making sure. And you can see how thick the resin is. It's sticking to my, um, the little bubbles sticking to my silicone brush. But it's okay because it works better that way. I thought about using uh, something like super glue or something like that to put it on there, but um, I was afraid it would run and then mess up my surface of my cup. This just worked out well. Um, I might also could have uh, put it directly onto the cup when the last layer of resin was curing, but I was afraid that I might accidentally stick my finger in it and cause a bigger mess than, than um, actually getting the little bubbles where I wanted them. So this worked out well. Getting the resin all the way out. And we're going to put it right here on the blue. Right there. All right, I'm going to let this set for a little bit and then I'm going to come back and give you some close up pictures of what it looks like. And here it is, all cured. The bubbles are nice and secure onto the cup. And they look so cute. The lettering on the back is the perfect color. Used a, a holographic pink. And this is the type lid that this particular mug has. It's the uh, slide open and close 
or turn open and close type lid. Here it is in the closed position. And I personally have one of these that I use. I really enjoy using this this type mug. This is the base of the of the mug and all that sparkle goes over the edge and across the bottom and here she is it's so cute and you can see that bubble that looks like it's just about to she's about to blow it off of her hand <laughs> i really think the the uh, 3d acrylic bubbles really added some uh, really good design element to it it's different and it's just really really cute love the colors love everything about it so and I have enjoyed making this little mug if you've enjoyed watching me create this please click like and share if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can do that now ring that bell and you get notified when I upload future videos and uh, if you have any comments or questions about anything please leave them below in the comment section below the video I love to hear your feedback the um, description of everything I use will also be in the description box below the video and I just want to thank you for joining me and taking the time to watch this project I want you to know that when you do that, you help my channel grow, and I greatly appreciate it. I hope to see you in my next creative escapade. Bye-bye for now.